We're joined now by Ryan Seacrest, who needs no introduction, a man uh, across media platforms, and Bob Pittman, CEO of iHeartMedia. Thank you both so much for joining Good us. To see you. Um, now, Bob, you're here as we sort of see a moment where we could see a lot of consolidation in the digital radio space. You have Pandora talking to Sirius XM. What does this mean for you and iHeartMedia? Well, for us, it's it's makes a lot of sense. I think it's validation of how powerful audio is. Uh, you know, we sit atop it all. We reach 91% of Americans uh, every week. Uh, we reach more people in the U.S. than Google or Facebook, and uh, all the other audio players are much smaller. Uh, but I think it's, a, it's an indication that people want to get in the audio game, that there is something happening here. And you look at radio, actually, as opposed to going down, radio's actually been adding listeners to broadcast radio. Digital listening just adds on to for us. Now, I heard media has been struggling with debt issues, with your debt load. Do you think you need to sell in order to survive? No, oh, I think at the end of the day, we have a fantastic operating business. Uh, the operating business does almost uh, $2 billion in OIB Dan. Now we spend that money to service debt, uh, but the operating business had 16 straight quarters of year over year revenue growth. It's pretty good. Uh, look at the, uh, the other players. Uh, but we do have, this is one of the last of the big LBOs. It's got a lot of debt on it. And the good news is that uh, we're addressing that now. Now, Ryan, you're involved in pretty much every part of the traditional media business. You have your radio show, you're co-hosting with Kelly Ripa, you produce reality TV. How much of a threat are the digital players that so dominate the conversation here at Can? We have Facebook, we have Google. Um, how much are, are they a threat to your business? I don't feel that they're a threat to the business. I think that um, we actually can be allies with them in a way when we're creating content. You know, one of the great things about being here for me, being involved in so many different platforms, but iHeart being the priority, is that I'm delivering messages for a lot of the brands that are here on a regular basis to the audience, and it's, it's effective to sit with the CMOs to hear exactly how uh, they want that message delivered and how we can do it with uh, a great partnership and fluidity in terms of getting feedback once we're delivering their message. And so you have a presence on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Which is the most valuable for you to get your message out there? I, I look at the sum. I really believe, I mean, the reason I subscribe to being on the air in the morning on the radio and also on television and digitally, I think that it's the sum of all parts game. And if we can create good, meaningful content for people anywhere at any time, then you're winning the game. But do you feel like social media, I mean, it must be valuable to drive it's people to valuable. tune in. We have uh, dashboards in the radio studio where we can see, as we're having a conversation, we can see how people are reacting to it. and We can navigate the conversation in a certain way based on the instant immediate feedback socially. So I use it as a tool. And actually, if you look at that, in the old days, radio is very interactive. People called us on the phone. Today, they call us on social. So it's this incredible, if you look at the social impressions we have of like the award show, the music award show, was bigger than the Super Bowl, bigger than the Academy Awards, bigger than the Grammys. Why? Because the radio people talk back and forth to us. Social's been great for the radio business because you've got, now they're calling us on Facebook, and when they call us, they call all their friends too. So the word spreads quickly. But now you have Facebook investing in original content. They're spending money to make new shows. And you have Apple also spending money to create new original content. What happens to you when the biggest company in the world, Apple, starts to get more into the content business? Well, I, look, I think it's, it, it's smart for them. And again, they're playing in a different lane than we're playing in. And we put programming up on Snapchat. We put programming up on, on Facebook. Uh, we use Instagram. We use all of them, and we use them, as Ryan said, they're not really competitors. They're part of our ecosystem. It used to be the telephone was part of our ecosystem, the request line, the concert line, the dedication line. Now the social players are part of our ecosystem. But they're also the biggest competition for your ad dollars. Google and Facebook are the ad behemoths. They dominate digital advertising. Why should an advertiser go to you when Google and Facebook have this insane reach? Well. First of all, I'd say they dominate advertising. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's limited to digital. And, uh, and, and why do they come to us? Because we do something unique. Uh, what we are in, in radio, uh, whether it's digital or, or broadcast, is we're people's companion. The reason they come to us is not for a program. They come to us because they hang out with us. We're somebody's best friend sitting in the empty seat next to them in the car every you day. You just announced you're going to be selling ads with Fox. No one's ever sold right. TV and radio ads together, but so why do they have to do it now? Well, because I think we've all got this data set now. And before I think what, what Facebook and Google taught us is that those data sets are wildly important to advertisers. Well, look, we reach more people than Facebook or Google every month 
In the US, we've got a big data set. We're taking that data set, taking Box's data set, and for the first time ever, an advertiser can use both video and audio platform together to go find those segments. Ryan, I have to ask you the question on everyone's mind. Are you going to be co-hosting American Idol again? Um, I'm in conversations, deep conversations, about coming back to host the show. It's uh, near and dear to my heart. I love it. It's been a huge part of my life. So we're in the process of sorting that out now. Because Katy Perry's already signed on. Katy Perry, she's going to be terrific for the show. I've known her a long time. Uh, it's a real score to get her to be on the show. So what do you think of the show moving over to ABC? Well, it worked out for me okay. I just started um, with ABC syndication at, uh, with Kelly and the, the Disney syndication. So um, it was a surprise that it happened days after I started over there. But it seems convenient. So, so promising? Promising? I'd say we're in the process. You're in the process. In the process. Okay. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.